Newcastle United 4, Crystal Palace 0. How good is Newcastle United? Like, seriously, I genuinely underestimate how good we are every single week. When we went away at Bramley and I was thinking, you know, it's going to be a very scrappy game. Maybe 1-2-0 Newcastle. Bang, 8-0. PSG, oh, I couldn't care less about the game. Bang, 4-1. Manchester City in the AFL Cup. Oh, we're going to go out in the first round. Bang, 1-0. Crystal Palace, 4-0. Of course, I wasn't expecting what to get beat, but still, to beat a team 4-0 is absolutely fantastic in the Premier League. No matter if it was Manchester City or Luton, I would be chuffed with any single team beating them by that much. But I've never seen us in control of a game so much. Crystal Palace were genuinely scared. They go 1-0 down. They don't go all out attack. They sit behind the ball. Newcastle United is such a threat. I can't believe how good we are, man. We got that, that game, like I just said, by the scruff of the neck. We genuinely terrified Crystal Palace. Them players didn't have a hope in hell. Honestly, we absolutely battered them that whole game. And it's a very, very fantastic sign for, uh, sign for things to come. Like, I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but we are definitely getting Europe this year. And I hate saying things, you know, which I could be proven wrong on, but I 100% believe we are getting Europe this year, no matter what it is. Maybe Champions League again, that's not something I'm going to predict. But we are just fantastic. Newcastle United, what a club to support, man. Honestly, Gordon, back in the starting lineup and back with the goal. That defensive work rate as well, man. Oh my God, what a player Anthony Gordon is. If England want to progress in the Euros, you take Anthony Gordon and you take the absolute engine in midfield, Sean Longstaff. And even Jacob Murphy, man. Like He's another player which has just been revived by Eddie Howe. Jacob Murphy, Fabian Shaw, Miguel Almiron, Callum Wilson, Sean Longstaff. The list goes on. Even Paul Dunn in the cells there's so many more I could even name a goal and two assists you, you genuinely can't rate it there's never going to be a time I question Eddie Howe's lineup. I don't question how he plays because there was one bit I got not worried because Crystal Palace weren't a threat but there was one time in the game where I was like well we've, we've went 1-0 up why are we just sitting off from Palace like we're playing such a weird but a fantastic way if you actually watch it. Like, we are so blessed to watch this football. I'm so glad I got a season ticket when I did a couple of years ago that I am guaranteed to watch fantastic football every single fortnight at home. It's fantastic. Kieran Trippier, world class. And I never chuck things out like that, right? Kieran Trippier is the best offensive right back in the world, hands down. Like, that's hands down. He's a world class right back, yet again, best offensive right back in the world. And his defensive capabilities are just fantastic as well. His leadership is fantastic. His experience is fantastic. His set-piece ability is fantastic. This man plays for Newcastle United. Seven assists in the last five games. A hat-trick of assists against Sheffield United. This man is unbelievable. Honestly, Kieran Trippier, I know I'm a young fan. I'm 17 years old. If you are of the older generation, you let me know down below. Is Kieran Trippier the best right back, in your opinion, in your Castle United history? For me, the only right backs I know is who? Trippier, uh, Yedlin, Janmat, Vernon and Nita, if you can kind of class him as a right back. I know he played in midfield as well. Debucci, um, there's a fair few of us, but you get the gist of things. I certainly haven't been blessed in my generation with right backs. But oh my God, how good is Newcastle United? We can just cut teams open easily. I love this club. Seriously, I love this club. I remember when we beat Palace 1-0 via that Miggy goal, which was yet again another screamer. What was it? 2021-22 season, I do believe it was. We went absolutely ballistic, me and my mates. We'll have a season ticket together, as we do right now. Back then, we went absolutely ballistic over a 1-0 win against Palace. Of course, we'll still celebrate like mad when we score that, because that's just what we are. We are fantastic fans, as Newcastle United fan base is. We still celebrated the goals like good, but it's now it's sort of like we are in a position where it's not a must win game, of course, but we should be beating these teams, you know what I mean? But that's not to sound arrogant or like, oh look at us, we've got this, we've got that. We want to be beating these teams. It's just a sort of like we're in a good position and we can beat these teams and it's just fantastic. The most I've ever been confident was when we did beat Burnley 2 0. Before that game, I was like, Do you know, I've never been so confident we've beat a team and it's fantastic. I love being in a position as a fan like this to go to games and think, do you know what? I'm not walking out of this stadium and I'm not going to this stadium anymore just for the atmosphere, for the fans, for the experience. And we're actually going to watch Newcastle United batter teams, to run teams down. I can't believe it, seriously. I'm thankful that it's such a young age. I can support Newcastle United. I can go to the away games with my own season ticket points. I love this club. This club is, it's turning into a family. This club is what everybody gathers around on the weekend. No matter where you're from, if you're from London, if you're from Norway, 
people that support Newcastle United have a certain thing in their heart that they just drive passion and integrity that they support Newcastle United. They thrive with pride. It's I love this club, seriously. I do love this club. Thank God I support Newcastle United. Borussia Dortmund up next in a very, very, you know, these games are coming in quick succession. Of course, we've got them in, what is it, four days from now, three or four days. Wow. I'll, <laughs> Champions League nights in three, four days, man. What's going on? Uh, of course, you'll get a match day vlog for that, whether that's on YouTube or TikTok. I do not know. Let me know your thoughts or score prediction for the Borussia Dortmund game in the comments down below. If there's no fantastic news or no outgoing news about the Sandro Tonali situation, because I do believe Craig Hope said that it, the judge is going to decide how long he will get his ban tomorrow. And of course, he's flying back over early for that, unfortunately. And by the way, what a reception he got today as well. Uh, yesterday, sorry. Absolutely fantastic. I actually missed the part, right? I looked away for two seconds. I did see him a little bit at the end where we're all chanting his name and he was coming to warm up. He turned around single-handedly and started clapping the fans. That's all we need from the players. Like, seriously, we just need a little clap and that means the world to us, it does. But let me know your thoughts and score prediction for the Borussia Dortmund game. Yet again, if there's no massive news about Sandro Tonali or anything else, of course, then that will be a match day preview for Borussia Dortmund tomorrow. And by the way, this is... You want to stay tuned for that because I love doing foreign teams, uh, all these sort of statistics and stuff, because I thrive off things like that. I... I don't want to be too cocky, but I love finding information and giving you information which you might not find elsewhere for that game. But I love giving this information to you. Like, I love finding out these weird statistics like Bruce Dortmund have had this many and this many games. These, uh, Do you know what I mean? Like These sort of weird statistics, I love giving it to you. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Jolly Josh. Newcastle United's back. 4-0 Champions League nights very soon. Go and enjoy your day, your legends. Up the mags.